You can literally go to your local grocery store, pick up a bottle of cold clothes and start this today. They are readily available. <laughs> for this video I am so glad you are here if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel so nice to meet you I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curly chemistry where I help you guys understand your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I also help you guys buy hair care lines as well and today we are talking about clothes for our hair, clove juice, clove oil. And we are in a space right now where natural is like a thing. And it's amazing because we're finding that so many herbs and flowers can deliver and perform and give us the results that we are looking for when it comes to our natural hair. So in this video, we'll be talking about how to properly use clothes to start seeing some results, the science behind clothes, and I guarantee you're gonna learn something new, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so number one, what are clothes? Okay, so clothes are aromatic flower buds, and they're grown in different parts of the world, but mainly in Indonesia. Now, cloves are used in foods as like spices, and they're also used in certain natural toothpaste because they're great for our teeth, okay? And of course, they are used in cosmetics, and the great thing about cloves is that you can literally go to your local grocery store, pick up a bottle of whole cloves, and start this today. They are readily available. So now that we know what they are, let's talk about the chemistry behind cloves. Now, every type of Ayurvedic herb that's trending right now, whether that's fenugreek or maybe it's the chebi powder, you know, from Africa, these flowers, these herbs, what makes them so great is that they contain phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are organic compounds that do amazing things for our body internally and externally. Now, when it comes to clothes, the phytochemical that makes this ingredient so amazing is called eugenol. Now, eugenol makes up 80% of clothes. There's a huge chunk of this ingredient, this phytochemical within clothes. Now, eugenol is known for being anti-inflammatory, a great antioxidant, and antimicrobial. Let's break that down when it comes to our scalp. So number one, anti-inflammatory. A lot of stunted hair growth product buildup can lead to swelling, inflammation of the follicle. So incorporating something like clothes can actually help assist the scalp to decrease that swelling and that inflammation so you can start seeing some amazing hair growth. Number two, because eugenol and clothes is antimicrobial, you know, a lot of microbes that grow on the scalp can produce dandruff in a number of different scalp conditions. So by you incorporating clothes again can help to eliminate that issue as well. And then last but not least, it is an antioxidant. You know, we're going into the summer months now. The sun is gonna be blazing, okay? With the sun comes free radicals. And free radicals are known for disrupting our hair growth cycle. So with clothes, AKA eugenol, it's gonna help to eliminate that as well. And one thing I forgot to mention is that eugenol is known for relaxing the blood vessels within the scalp. You don't want your blood vessels to be constricted because that constricts the blood to get to the follicle, which produces hair growth. But by that relaxation of the blood vessels, you're gonna get more blood flow to the scalp. So that's kind of what's going on in the background. So promoting hair growth, that's number two. And then number three, overall scalp health. So there are tons of beautiful benefits when it comes to the scalp, the hair, and, and even internally as well. So I would definitely incorporate this into your regimen. So let's talk about how to actually do that, how to incorporate it into your regimen. Okay, number one, I highly recommend incorporating this as a rinse or a spritz or both. You can take the clothes, treat them like a tea, maybe add a tablespoon, two tablespoons of whole clothes, okay? They're much easier to work with than ground clothes. Put that like in a glass measuring cup, add some boiling water over those whole clothes, kind of making a tea, let that steep. I would say let it steep for maybe like five or 10 minutes, then strain off the whole clothes and you'll be left with like this brownish colored juice, 
spritz, water, whatever you want to call it. And I would take that once it cools down and spray that on your scalp. Use it as a rinse in your shower when you're conditioning your hair as a final rinse or use it throughout the day on your hair and your scalp as like an extra moisture boost plus the hair growth benefits that you're getting from this glow juice. You can find a ton of videos on YouTube about this topic and there are a lot of women seeing a lot of beautiful results in pretty like a fast amount of time. Like really, really, it doesn't take long for clothes to work. That's how powerful and effective this eugenol phytochemical is. It doesn't take long to work. So I would definitely recommend this as a juice. You can use it as an oil as well, but the juice aspect in my opinion is just much better because you're getting moisture and you're getting that stimulation of the hair growth together. You know what I'm saying? All right guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new, of course. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more curly chemistry content. Make sure notifications are on so you do not miss a beat of this amazing content. Thank you guys so much once again for being here and watching and sharing. I appreciate you guys. Of course, I have a question for you. I am preparing to do a video on herbal tea rinses for our hair and really breaking down the chemistry behind these rinses like green tea, hibiscus, and really talking about how to effectively use it with results. So my question to you is, do you currently use any tea rinses on your hair? If so, comment below, let me know what kind of tea, what kind of herbs you use. And if you haven't, but you've heard of some, comment below. I'm trying to get a nice little list together to talk about in this upcoming video. So comment below, let me know, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. And if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in your hair, definitely check out the Natural Hair Care with some flashcards and their Curly Girls Got to Hair Care Ingredients. I have a link below for you with more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.